you're finally going to get to see Corey Seager on an everyday basis. What was the one thing that impressed you the most last year, and what is he? What dimension is he going to bring to the team this year? Um, I, you know, a lot of what I just talked about, Howie. You know, he's a guy that you can't just bring in a lefty specialist. To, you know, in, in, a, in a tight game situation because he can hit lefties just as good, probably even better than righties. Uh, he's very consistent with his approach. He's very quiet with his approach. Uh, just a true professional. Shows up. Does his work. Um, a guy that you know, I think for for many years is going to be one of the best shortstops. Or you know, people say he might move to third. I don't know about that, but he's going to be one of the best infielders in the game. Um, you know, for many years, and uh, just a, extremely talented, and uh, does everything very under composed, poised. And, uh, you know, it'll be great to have him for a full season. I know last year when he came up, he impressed everybody. I don't know who wasn't impressed by his at-bats, by his demeanor, by his way of playing defense, moving around. And, uh, you know, he's got a great arm strength for shortstop. And so, you know, for him, it's just, uh, you know, continue to do what he's been doing, and he's going to be great. Were there some little things? Would he come to you? I would, uh, I would if I were a young player, young hitter, and um, pick your brain. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of times when they're bringing a reliever, that he obviously had never faced uh, you know he'd come to me and be like hey what's what's he got what's he gonna you do you know what you know what should I look for and I'd give my opinion I think you know for the most part a lot of guys do that uh, you know because I study the pitchers uh, you know from top to bottom and I have a, a pretty good idea of what they're gonna try and do and so uh, you know it's something that, uh, that that I enjoy doing and I enjoy kind of knowing exactly what that pitcher's thinking and what he's wanting to do uh, at that point after that is just uh, you know who, who who executes better and, and who wins the battle. Adrian, when you look out and see all these people just hanging on every word that you say, you've played in San Diego, you've played in Boston, it just seems that you've been more appreciated here in Los Angeles and everything that you've done than in any other city that you've played in. How much has it meant to you that this city has embraced you as one of their own from day one? Yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible, yeah. I mean, you guys are the best. I mean, honestly, I mean, you know, we have probably like 10,000 people on the, on the field right now. It's, it's incredible. I just, you know, we have the best fan base. Uh, obviously, let all, let all baseball the last two years uh, or three years in attendance. And, uh, you know, some people say that this team travels well, that team travels well. I know a lot of people don't talk about the Dodgers traveling well, but we travel the best. And uh, we, have, you know, we have the best fans, which is, which is uh, incredible for us. You know, it makes, it makes us really enjoy that much more what we do and know that we're going to come to a full stadium a stadium that can pack 55,000, you know, we have 50,000 almost every day. Uh, and, you know, that's just a, you know incredible job that you guys do supporting us, and we're very thankful, and, uh, you know, thank you. Hey, we have uh, a new manager, a uh, teammate, a former teammate of yours. Tell the fans what they might expect about Dave Roberts. I think we all, those of us that have covered him know him pretty well, a great person, but from your experience, what can we expect? Yeah, I mean, he's just a, a guy that, 